Hi, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education, and this is our weekly video column that I'm doing for you. And the question this week actually comes from Shannon. Thank you for the email, Shannon. And her question was in regards to uh, doing dishes when you're on a fire job. And she wanted to know if you just use good old fashioned Dawn dish soap or some other kind of like cleaner degreaser. So that was an excellent question. So honestly, um, it depends obviously on the degree of the fire. The majority of the time, we do literally wash the dishes and we do it with good old fashioned Dawn because it's amazing. It is uh, a great grease cutter and it really does wonders. And when we use Dawn on the dishes, then the homeowner doesn't have to turn around and worry about rewashing them or us rewashing them after we've used like a chemical on them. Now, so, and, and when I'm talking about dishes, I'm talking about like, you know, the everyday stuff you're gonna drink out of like a glass or a coffee cup or maybe even, you know, plates or bowls that they're gonna eat out of. When you have like decor in a kitchen or maybe small appliances, that's different. I would be using more like a mild degreaser. The mild degreaser that I use when it comes to kitchen appliances and if I do need to use on dishes is called SCORE. It's made by Sunburst Chemicals and in some cases if it's really um, a lot of staining from smoke and soot on dishes which can ha definitely happen in a bad fire we will actually take the dishes and put them through the ultrasonic machine. So that then after we've done the ultrasonic with the dishes we would then need to actually rinse them off, wash them off so that none of that uh, you know, a solution from the ultrasonic machine residue is on the dishes. And I don't ever use 99, uh, which is what I use to deodorize on any kind of dishes, silverware, anything that somebody's going to eat off of, put food in, or eat with. I don't ever use 99. Um, that is just a very, uh, not, a, not a very safe, good thing to do. So instead for deodorizing, the thing that I focus on is using hydroxyl if I need to do that with any of the kitchen dishes and appliances, that sort of thing. So anyway, thank you, Shannon, for your question. I hope that answered it for you um, well. And I just want to remind you all to please, if you are not subscribed to the e-newsletter, which if you're watching this, you probably are, but you might be watching it from a friend's computer, be sure and go to rnrmagonline.com and subscribe to the e-newsletter so you get the weekly column in your email box when it comes out. And also, if you have a question that you would like me to feature uh, in the column uh, next week or uh, thereafter, please be sure to comment below this video and let me know or email me at anisa at firehouseeducation.com and I want to thank you for spending this time with us and I will see you on the next video.